That's so freaking good. It's a perfect match in heaven. It is the perfect little afternoon snack if you want to have a sugar high. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to beautiful Halifax, Nova Scotia. Today this video is going to be all about the food. We're going to eat some items from Nova Scotia and also from Canada in general. Yes. So I hope you're hungry because we are. Let's go. Without a doubt, the most iconic dish of Halifax would 100% be the Donaire. So although the name is similar to the Döner in Germany or the Donner kebab in Turkey, it is not the same thing, although a lot of people might think that. It's very, very similar. It's even similar to a Greek gyro, but what makes it different is the spices that are used in the meat, which are typically beef and lamb, but the biggest difference is the sauce, Donair sauce, which is made with condensed milk, garlic, and vinegar. So it's very, this very, very sweet sauce that makes it completely stand out from all the other similar kebab types. So our Donair has finally arrived. So just a little piece of information about the Donair. It was actually created by a Greek immigrant who moved here and he tried to sell gyros with tzatziki and lamb to the locals, but apparently it didn't fit their palate. So he created the Donair with his sweet sauce and then it just took off and now it is an icon in Halifax. Without further ado, let's have a bite. There's no elegant way to eat this. It's sloppy, it's messy, but it's delicious. Mm. Oh yeah. As a kid, a teenager on the East Coast in Halifax, everybody had donair. It's one of the perfect late night eats or even just with dinner with your family. The meat is really juicy. The sauce is really sweet. It's got a little bit of the sharpness from the onion. It's raw onion and tomato. So it's very simple, but it's unlike any other kebab that I've had anywhere in the world. It's its, its own thing and it's delicious. As a Berliner, this bread is a lot thinner than a Berlin Döner Kebab. There's no salad or anything, it's just tomato and uh, onion and the meat. It's a pita. Mm. Mm. It's I really like the meat, it's a little bit spicy actually. Maybe Brandon would disagree, but it is spicy in comparison to um, Berlin Döner meat. And it's yummy and the sauce is sweet. It's a lot better than last time I had it in Halifax. If you have a donair in Nova Scotia, you have to have some garlic fingers with it. Everyone knows garlic fingers here. They're basically like a pizza or cheesy bread, but it has garlic and more cheese. And I guess you get donair sauce on the side where you dip your garlic fingers in. And according to Brandon, this is part of his childhood. Okay, we're gonna eat it without the sauce first. So good, so garlicky, so cheesy, and I, this is 100% better than like cheesy bread from Pizza Hut or anything like this. This is maybe not that different, but it's better and it's more garlicky or I don't even know if that's right. You dip it in, it's just thick, sweet sauce. It's perfect together. You would think condensed milk with basically pizza. How can that work? It's a perfect match in heaven. One thing you can't miss while visiting Nova Scotia is fresh seafood. Situated right on the Atlantic Ocean, there are plenty of great options for seafood lovers. Whether you would like to enjoy lobster boil at home, or try fish and chips at the Halifax waterfront, you can't go wrong. We decided to try one of our favorite local delicacies, the lobster roll. So right now we're at the canteen on Portland, which is just across the water from Halifax. Growing up, this side of Dartmouth, this downtown Dartmouth area, was always kind of crummy. It was kind of run down a little bit, and it's completely changed since I was here seven years ago. There's all sorts of new bars everywhere, craft beer places, restaurants. It's absolutely crazy. There's also artwork everywhere. It's quite cool. And right now, we're just having a beer, a propeller beer, famous in Halifax. And we actually ordered something that they are famous for here called the Cropster Roll, which is a mix of crab and lobster. And we can't wait to try it. So when you come to the East Coast, 
of Canada, obviously you have to try seafood and there's so many lobster rolls. In our case, like Brandon said, we have lobster and crab together. And it looks amazing. And it comes on this piece of toast almost. Most of the time apparently it's a hot dog bun. But this looks way more amazing and they're actually making it there fresh. So that's exciting. It has these fat chunks of lobster and crab on top. And this bread looks like really buttery and delicious. Oh my god, it's so good. It's delicious. I didn't grow up with this. For a while I thought I didn't like lobster and things like that. But this is like divine. This is, this is amazing. And especially with the crab on top, I think it makes it better. This is like an elevated lobster roll. And it's not too saucy or anything. It's just, just good. So since we've been here, we've already had all sorts of fresh seafood, including fresh lobsters, which Anya cracked for herself for the first time. We also had some scallops and plenty of other seafood while we've been here. I, of course, being a kid from Nova Scotia, grew up with lobster, so I've had it plenty of times. So this looks absolutely delicious. Mmm. Oh my god. That's so freaking good. Wow. Typically, I don't really like lobster rolls, lobster sandwiches much because they cover it in too much mayonnaise and things like that, but this, you can definitely taste the fresh seafood, that is the star. It tastes like a little bit garlicky, maybe from the bread. It's so good. You definitely should try a crop store roll if you're in Dartmouth or Halifax, Nova Scotia. We're at Smoke's Patinerie right now. Obviously, patine is not from Halifax or Nova Scotia. It's obviously from Quebec. But if you come to Canada, you have to have poutine because you can get poutine anywhere. And Smokes is a chain that exists anywhere. And I think, in my opinion, if you can't have in Quebec, Smokes is one of the best places to have poutine. They have all kinds of flavors. Butter chicken now, they have pulled pork, Philly cheesesteak, they have butter donair. cauliflower, donair. And they have other items like onion rings nowadays. We got some fried cheese curds. But basically poutine, is fries topped with gravy and cheese curds. And it has to be cheese curds. There's some fake poutines that have maybe mozzarella or something, especially in other places in the world. You might get poutine and it has cheese on top, but if it doesn't have cheese curds, squeaky cheese curds, it's not right. So this is the real deal. And we got Hogtown poutine, which has bacon, caramelized onions, mushrooms, and chorizo and obviously the gravy, fries, and cheese curds. And this was my first poutine ever. Brandon took me to a branch in Toronto. So I've waited six and a half years for this. Got a cheese curd. It's memories. It's so good. It's so loaded with stuff, it's so flavorful. The gravy is delicious. And there's loads of these delicious cheese curds. And this is just Canadian heaven. Mm. It tastes like childhood. I don't know about childhood, but it's so delicious. This one with the caramelized onions is really good though. I love it. But we also have fried cheese curds. So this is a new thing for sure, at least in the past couple of years. They also have fried tater tots, like you said, they have onion rings, you can make the poutine, a pierogi poutine and all these things, like, it's definitely grown since we used to eat it up there. But we've got these crispy fried, deep fried cheese curds. Mm. Crispy, greasy, cheesy. The squeak stuff? Not just so much. I feel like the, the deep frying took that away. Basically, it tastes like a mozzarella stick at this point. It needs, I feel like if it had dipping sauce, that'd be really nice. Maybe we should dip it in the donut. <laughs> but yeah. Some gravy. Or some gravy, yeah. It's delicious though. Fried cheese curds, 10 times better than mozzarella sticks. While visiting Nova Scotia, we would also recommend checking out one of the many pubs for local craft beers and ciders. Since Nova Scotia is quite well known for apples, we decided to check out Bulwark Cider House to sample some of their award-winning creations.
We are at Bulwark Cider House in Halifax right now. And what's really cool about Halifax is all these craft breweries and cider houses as well, which is exciting for me because it reminds me of the UK. You don't really have that much cider in your other European countries. And I got the gold cider. The cider is from Nova Scotia. All of them are. And they use Annapolis Valley apples. Mm. This has a weird flavor. It tastes really good. And what I like about these is that they're actually a bit stronger than the British ones because I feel like on average British ones are like four point something uh, percentage and all of them here they're five point something or even seven point something. So you definitely have to have some cider and craft beer when you come to Halifax. Since there's too many choices I decided to go with a flight and try all these different types instead. So I have all sorts of different types. I have like a black wildberry one, I've got a blood orange one, and the one in my hand is called Blush. It's so good. It's refreshing, it's really light and crisp. It's just so strange being in Halifax and seeing all these cider houses and all these breweries because when I was here almost 10 years ago, it did not exist. So it's pretty cool and it's a nice way to spend the afternoon. The next thing on our list is a beaver tail. If you're a Canadian child, I'm sure that you grew up with these. And although these are not from Nova Scotia, they are definitely Canadian. I think they originated in 1978, Anya told me, and somewhere in Ontario. And we got the score and cheesecake flavor. They have all sorts of flavors. They even serve poutine on a beaver tail now, and all sorts of other strange options that were definitely not a thing before, but I'm really excited to try this. It's kind of like a langoche in Hungary, except sweeter. Fried bread, cheesecake topping, and score, which is a type of chocolate bar, kind of toffee. Let's go. Mm. Holy crap. So it's exactly what it looks like. Deep fried dough, super sweet cream cheese on top with these crunchy little score bits. It is so delicious, it is so sweet, but it is the perfect little afternoon snack if you want to have a sugar high. Mm, it's pretty good. The topping is like the sweetest. I think I would love to try the original, which is apparently cinnamon and sugar. I feel like the dough is not as greasy as a langoche in, in Hungary. The, the main star is like the super sweet topping. It's so good. With so many pubs and craft beer bars readily available, that of course means one thing. Lots of pub food. Whether it's crispy chicken wings, cheesy potato skins, or tangy fried pickles, the options are endless. However, it's deep fried pepperoni that is truly a Halifax must try. Served with a sweet honey Dijon mustard, it's perfectly paired with the local Halifax beer. So one thing you definitely have to try if you come to Halifax is this, and this is Moon Mist Ice Cream. So this is something I grew up with, and I don't even really know exactly what the flavors are meant to be, but I think that each color is meant to be kind of a different flavor. There's yellow, a blue, a purple, and this is something that I grew up and I absolutely love. Anya doesn't like it so much, but I love it. Mm. Tastes like childhood. I would say the most comparable type of ice cream would maybe be bubble gum flavor, something like that. But yeah, if you come to Halifax, come to Nova Scotia, you have to try this because apparently it's from here. I didn't even know that. Delicious. It's actually quite okay and actually it tastes a bit like banana. Banana? Banana. <laughs> it tastes a bit like banana, which I don't know, maybe the one that you gave me when I it was in Toronto was not as good. I mean, it was from like a grocery store. Mm -hmm. This is like... This is from a cool shop at the Fisherman's... Village? <laughs> <laughs> Fisherman's... No, Cove. Cove. This is from a sh cool shop at the Fisherman's Cove. So this is actually... So I converted you? Quite good. I wouldn't choose this. I'm more like a maple, walnut kind of person, but this is, this is quite good.
Another thing you definitely have to try is salt water taffy. These candies, it's a taffy candy that's very popular here. And there's crazy flavors like chicken and waffles, bacon and maple, and other things. I'm gonna try one. I assume they have salt water in them when you make them, but we'll verify that later. I think this is macadamia. I think it actually tastes like popcorn. I don't know. It's delicious though. <laughs> this is so good. So as Ani said, there's all sorts of weird flavors. And I was particularly drawn to those because of course I grew up with saltwater taffy. I've had all sorts of typical flavors like vanillas and chocolates, they even have root beer, things like that. So I went with something a little different. This one is dill pickle. Yeah. So I'm very interested to see if it's actually gonna taste like a dill pickle. Let's try it. <laughs> so at first, all I got was the sweet kind of flavor and I was like, okay, no, it doesn't taste like that. And then after, immediately, you're hit with a very pungent dill pickle flavor. It totally tastes like a dill pickle chip, except sweet and chewy. <laughs> so they definitely nailed that flavor. They hit it right on the head. It's actually really good. I like it. A little bit strange, but it's different. It's good. We just passed Joanne's Deli Market and Bake Shop and we had to go inside. And it's so cute inside, which most of these stores are. They look like they're from the past and never changed. And I feel like that's very specific to like this area or like Nova Scotia and North America. I don't know. It doesn't look European where I'm from. We got an oat cake, which is something that we read online is Nova Scotian. That's something you should try in Nova Scotia. I think Brandon didn't really eat those growing up, but it was on the list and they had them. So let's try it. Mm, it's very dry. I think this would be very good with some tea or some milk. It's not very sweet. It does taste very oaty. There's a lot of flakes in there, but a lot of like grains or whatever. But yeah, definitely you need some milk, some tea. Maybe that's how you're supposed to eat it. It's still delicious and it tastes very homemade. So that is the end of our food tour today in Nova Scotia, Canada. We absolutely loved everything we had and we can't wait to explore more of North America in general and try more tasty foods all over the place. As always, make sure to leave a comment, like and subscribe. If there's any foods or snacks that we didn't try and we should try in the future, let us know in the comments. But for Bye. now, that is it. We are done with this video and we'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.